Hey guys, so welcome to another episode of Rhino Joe Outdoors and on today's episode I'm going to walk you through how to use these supplies to make an extended handle for this G2 Pro floating net. Stay tuned. So guys, I'm going to try to link all this stuff down in the YouTube description, but originally today I was going to go out and shoot a video out at the Falls of the Ohio, but I just had a horrible day. I'm going to throw up some footage here. Um, storm rolled in. I freaking broke one of my favorite rods, and it was just that kind of a day. So I decided to come back here to the Rhino Joe Outdoors Casa and make a video on how to make this net. So... What I've got here is I've got this G2 floating net. I've got a two foot long piece of one inch PVC. I've got a one inch PVC cap. I've got some grip tape for a, like a baseball bat. I've got this great stuff, which is an expanding foam. And then I've got some JB weld here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these components and we're gonna use that to make this floating net with an extended handle so it can be used on a kayak. So first things first, um, let's get this off. I want to take the label off. There's a picture of the label for the net. Um, it comes in different colors, but I got the green color, kind of goes with my kayak. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is trim this foam off this handle here. So if you look at the handle, I want to keep about an inch. Um, if you look at the way this is designed, it kind of goes up over the other foam, and there's like little indentations for your fingers. So I'm going to start at that first indentation there, and I'm just going to use this razor blade to go all the way around. And then I'm going to take a slit down the center. Nice. This razor blade isn't the sharpest. I should probably should have got a new one. That side is much sharper. So we're going to go back over that again because the other side's a little bit dull. All right. So now that's going to allow me to peel this off. All right. So that allows me to expose this, uh, it's like an aluminum handle here. And the cool thing about this is, is that this fits like right inside of this one inch PVC. So if you look there, it fits like perfect. It's got a little bit of play to it, but that's where this JV weld is going to come in handy because if you've never used this it's like a it's an epoxy and you mix the two parts together and I'm gonna slather that in there and JB weld and then I might just take a small little screw just as extra reinforcement and stick that in there too I'm just gonna drill a small hole here I drilled a little hole there um, going through both so that's just going to be a little extra reinforcement but while I'm here I'm going to go ahead and use this razor blade and I'm going to cut off this bungee cord here and if you so desire I'm going to show you guys how to reattach this later to the other part of the handle so I've got this here so next I'm going to take this JV weld I'm going to mix it up real fast and get it ready to go it does take four to six hours to set and 15 to 24 hours for it to fully cure so I'm obviously not going to plan on using this net today but the next time I go out it'll be ready for uh, some fishing action alright so I use this uh, grip tape here to prop this up so I have a good working surface uh, the key thing with this JB weld is number one whatever you mix it in is going to be ruined so if you have like something that's old or something you don't care about um, that'd be the best to use it for. So right here I've got top to a salsa container. 
Um, there's always plenty of copious amounts of salsa in the Rhino Joe Outdoors headquarters here. You just have to mix equal parts of each. And so it doesn't have to be an exact science, but you want to get it pretty close. So I think that should be plenty there. So you want to make sure to put the black cap on the black JB weld and then the white cap. Let's try to clean that off a little bit. Got a little bit of the black on there. Um, JB weld. All right, so now I can take, this is just a little piece of a shim that I was using working on a household project earlier. So we're gonna mix that up. And you see it turns like a gray color there. All right, so once you got it mixed up there, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna use this like a little spatula basically and I'm gonna apply this all around the shaft of this net and so my main goal here is one to provide you know some sort of a connection in between the shaft of the aluminum handle and then the PVC pipe so there's not any play. So that's really my goal here. And then I'm going to use that screw that I drilled a hole for earlier to kind of just provide, you know, further reinforcement to make sure that this doesn't move. Just trying to even it out here. Now what I want to do here is I'm just trying to clear off a little bit where my screw hole was. And then, this is the side that had the screw hole in it, so it's right there. So I'm going to try my best to line it up the best I can. And then push this up the shaft of this net. Alright, so now I'm going to put this screw in here. So a lot of you might ask why I put that in there. Um, for me, it's just an extra reinforcement for this to make sure that it doesn't come out. I really know that like once all is said and done, this is gonna set up and be really solid for the solid connection here. All right, so while that's setting up, I went over to my uh, drill and I drilled out the end cap of this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, uh, you know, and I just kind of wallered it out there. And then uh, I'm gonna put my bungee cord through here so that I can reuse my bungee cord and then I'm going to wrap it twice so do that do that what I'm trying to do is just make a big fat knot you can see that there so that this won't pull through so there we go so the next part of this is I'm going to drill a couple holes down through here and I'm going to use this, it's a insulating foam to fill up the inside of the shaft of this so that it can't fill with water. Um, and this is like the stuff that you would use like on your house or whatever, just to provide it with like more of a sturdy fill and to make sure that like we have an expanding foam inside of the shaft of the uh, net. So it's always easier if you're drilling something like this to start off with a smaller bit and then work your way up to whatever size you need. So you're basically trying to match the size of the straw here that that way you can stick it down in there and get a tight fit. This stuff is will stick to everything so that if you use this, you do not want to get it on anything. Um, I'll probably show you all how I do like the first couple holes, but once I get down towards the end, I'll probably do it away from my table here so I don't risk getting a bunch of this sticky foam all over everything. So now I'm gonna switch up to a bigger bit here and work my way up to try to get it to that right size for that. And it fits, fits, and it fits, and it fits. So that's perfect. I'm gonna shake it up. 
Then we're gonna use this and attach the little straw there. And we're gonna start filling up some of these holes. So I'm gonna stick it in this first hole up here towards the end. So you can see, if you're watching there, it starts to come out of the little holes. Um, it is expanding, so it's going to keep expanding for a little bit. So this foam is going to keep expanding. You can see it's kind of coming out of the holes here. And you just want to make sure that you protect any surface that you're around because it will stick to everything and it is extremely hard to get off. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that go ahead and fully expand. And then once it's fully expanded, um, I can come back once it's hardened and we can, you know, trim off these little like wormy things that are coming out of there and be able to put the wrap on the net, install the end piece, and we'll be set. All right, y'all, so it's been a little while. Um, got a little bit of bubbling still going on here. But um, I went outside. Um, I sanded this down. I tried to get all the residue off there. Um, still, yeah, super professional here using the cat. But for the most part, it's kind of quit expanding. So I'm going to go ahead and install this wrap. So I've just got like a back grip here. And uh, we're just going to install this on the shaft of this. Um, I did go ahead and install the end cap with some adhesive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this from the top all the way down to about here. And then I'm going to stop. And the reason why is because I want to make sure that when this goes into my roto grip that it's able to fit and it's not going to pop out. So we're going to do that. So a really nice touch with this is it does come with the end piece so that you can wrap the very end. And then it already comes tapered. So it's tapered. I mean, I'm sure it's tapered mainly for a back. But we should still be able to get this on there to where it looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect I'm trying to keep from I got a little bit of this JB weld it takes a little bit longer to cure so I'm trying to keep from getting that all over the rest of this so as I'm going I'm just going to keep having a slight overlap here And you got to keep pulling, it's got a backing tape on it here, so you got to keep pulling that off as you go. Making sure that I keep that little bit of overlap. Um, the way that the tape is designed, you can kind of see that it's made to overlap. So there's the end of the first one. the second one here you've got your little adhesive piece here I might take that little end wrap piece and put it like right in between where I started and where I stopped just to get it all prepared here this is like that end wrap piece I just want to make sure that I wrap this there we 
There we go. All right, so now um, as far as this goes, um, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna let the rest of this dry. I'm gonna end up, I didn't get enough of this uh, fat grip. So I think one more will do me. And then once I get that done, I will show you all the end product and we will uh, conclude this video. All right guys, so I had to wait until I got a little bit more of this grip tape in. So I finished the grip down. Um, I left the very bottom part um, with no grip on it and that's so that I can latch it into the roto grip on the kayak. And uh, I attached the bottom part with some adhesive and you see I've got the little clip there. Um, but overall, um, you have a nice little net here um, that floats. Um, it's filled up with foam and it's good for kayak fishing. So guys, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions about this net um, or any of the parts that I used, I'm gonna put that down in the uh, description. And uh, appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to get outside, do something awesome. And if you get a chance, take somebody with you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.